Braden's in Memphis. Hi, Braden. How are you? Hey, Dave. Hey, Anthony. How y'all doing? Great, man. How can we help? So, I've got a quick question for you. Um, I'm 21 years old. I have 60000 cash saved up. Um, I have an $8,000 emergency fund. And me and my wife have, we've been married for almost three years now. We've been renting the house for my dad for about two years now. And he's offered to sell it to us for a pretty generous um, amount that he was willing to give it to us for. So it just appraised for about two fifteen to two twenty, mm-hmm. and he's wanting to sell it to us for one forty. Excellent. And um, I was just wondering, am I in the position to go on and do that? Um, my only concern is that it is an older house. It's it's been in our family for seventy years now, and um, so it is older, but it's in really good shape. Um, is that something smart? That I should do, or should I hold off and keep renting? Brayden, how much? What's your household income right now? So our household income is about fifty-five to sixty thousand. Okay, fifty-five to sixty thousand, and um, you have no other debt. No debt. Good for you. Yeah. Well done. You guys got started early, and you did well. Yeah. Good. Good work. Thank you. Okay. Everything here sounds fine on the numbers. Uh, the only red flag I heard was it's a, a family heirloom. What happens when you want to move? Well, we've already ta- discussed that, and um, he's perfectly okay with that. I mean, there's no big connection to it. It's just it was his dad's dad's, and then got handed down, and he ended up buying it from someone else that moved into it. Um, and so he bought it from him. So you're not going to have some. Major. You're not going to have your mother mad or some uncle mad or something like that if Absolutely you sell it. Absolutely not. No, no, sir. Okay. They're not going to win a piece of the uh, profit when you sell it and make that extra hundred thousand dollars that he missed out on. No, sir. So when I, um, well, I'll take out an eighty thousand dollar loan to, um, you know, put after I put my sixty down, mm-hmm. and and then it will be deeded over to me, and and that's it yeah. for them. <laughs> I like it, then. Go get it. Yes, I would do that. <laughs> I definitely would do that. There's so, nothing wrong with it at all. Okay. And here's the thing: if you don't have to live there forever, sure don't. If the thing starts giving yeah. you fits because of its age, make a move later. So I mean, ten, actually, ten years uh, from today, your life is going to be way different than it is right now. Yes, sir. We were actually gifted um, a 100-acre farm last year from my grandpa, and so our ideal situation is to build over there. Mm-hmm. So really what I was wanting to do and instead of paying rent in this house was be putting my money into the equity back into the house. That way, when we're ready financially to pay cash for the house that we want to build on the um, farm, then we can sell that house and just dump it all into the next house. It's a wonderful plan. All right, beautiful. Now, the, other, the only other thing is I want your dad to check with his tax advisor because he is giving you equity in excess of gift tax limits. And so he may need to file a, uh, a gift tax uh, filing with his income tax. And I, okay. if you can remember this phrase, teach him this phrase, a unified estate tax credit. He may want to use some of his estate exemption at, to be able to give you this gift without paying any taxes. Otherwise, he could get dinged with some gift tax in the event of an audit because he gave you a very, very large gift in excess of uh, what is allowed right now without taxes. And so, um, you know, that that's, you know, the whole process. So have him, have him check with his uh, ta- tax advisor on that and figure out exactly what the best plan is to do that, the best way to do it. But probably a unified estate tax credit is going to be the best direction.